Welcome to Sunday Racing Action here at Gulfstream Park. We've got 10 races on the card for you, two stakes races, five furlongs on the turf, the Janus and the Abadanja. We'll send it upstairs to Pete Aiello with the scratches in the track conditions. Weather is beautiful. Temperatures in the upper 60s, sunny skies. The main track is fast. The Tapita track is always fast. The turf course is firm. In race one, scratch the two, stable storm. Scratch number nine, dancing bullet. Race one, scratch two and nine. R racing at Gulfstream. From the far outside, 16 cigarettes wins the break and clears very easily. He's a length and a half in front. First timer designated hitter is away in second. Down at the rail, slip near, now moves a closer third. A length and a half to Pure Crazy Groove, who's early fourth, followed by Builder Jack and Makuto. The early trailer is Decisive Warrior. And the run to the half mile point with rail position and the lead, 16 cigarettes. Slip near, tries to go with him from the inside. Designated hitter is alongside. So they're almost three in line now. And these three have four on a fourth running pure crazy groove. Then back to Builder Jack, who's a length and a half in front of Makuto. And the trailer is Decisive Warrior. They went 23 and 1 for the opening quarter as they leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn. 16 cigarettes striding forward for John Rivera, length in front. Designated hitter is there, second slip near is back to third. Three back to pure crazy groove, he's now fourth. Saya's working overtime on Makuto, he's fifth at the 5 16 trying to get a rally together. Three in front of Builder Jack, he's not getting a rally together as they come past the quarter pole. With the advantage, it's the 8 to 5 shot, 16 cigarettes off the turn on top by three. Designated hitter tries another bid down the center pure crazy groove at the rail slip near then it's Makuto eighth of a mile to go 16 cigarettes trying to hold sway pure crazy groove has a shot at him here comes pure crazy groove to try to pick him up on the money 16 cigarettes shortening up pure crazy groove lunging he got him pure crazy groove pure crazy groove nailed 16 cigarettes on the money with designated hitter third in 127 and one And they're off. Poor start from asking my name. Quick start in the middle for Frisson, who heads off for the early lead. Moving up on the outside, it's Jerry's turn with speed. Speeding through at the rail, tis the coast. These three are quickest. Sterling Harmony into the top flight, not the rail, it's Palace View. The early trailer after the slow break is asking my name. The early leader is tis the coast. Tis the Coast is in front from a three-wide Sterling Harmony. Frisson is in between horses. Tripped out fourth is Palace View, a length and a half in front of Bold Majestic. Then it's St. Joe Lewis. He's at the rail. Followed by the gray King Silvio, who's a length and a half in front of Harrington. Jerry's turn toward the inside. Second last is this favorite, What Say Thee. He spots the leader about six lengths, and the trailer is Ask in My Name. The quarter time was quick, 22 and 3. As they head to the half-mile point, Tis the Coast and Luis Saez by a length. Frisson is second, Sterling Harmony third through a 46 and one half mile. At the rail, Palace Views had a good trip. He's up into fourth now. Three wide King Silvio, bold majestic between horses. Then St. Joe Lewis and Harrington. The red colors worn by O'Shane Murphy on the favorite. What say they start to stoke the boilers? Still out the back is asking my name. They stack and pack as they run to the top of the stretch. Sterling Harmony, four wide King Silvio, looking for room. Palace View, trying to find a way out. What say thee? Harrington's over the top, and they're at the top of the stretch. Who do you like here? They fan across the course. What say thee is loose for the drive. Harrington goes with them. From between horses, Bold Majestic. Down the center. What say thee? Surging forward off a good trip. It's What Say Thee and O'Sheen Murphy to win going away. Good battle here for second. It's Harrington in a picture with Bold Majestic. He had won 33 and three.
Down by three, by four, and moving away. And they're off. From the middle, it's Ozone who gets the first call and goes looking for the early lead. Splitting horses, I'm a Peppa's on the go. Moving out the rail, First Coast Storm won't be far away and the run to the half mile point. Sir Banana Brian is racing together with Bourbon Warrior, then Hercules in Love, and the early trailer is Spin the Boulevard. To the far turn they go with the advantage. It's Ozone on top by length. Sir Banana Brian is there second from First Coast Storm, who's back to third. Three wide spin the boulevard out the rail. I'm a Peppa from between horses Bourbon Warrior. Now the trailer is Hercules in love. They're under the top of the stretch, a quarter of a mile from home. The leader is Ozone and Miguel Vasquez nursing a two-length lead. Sir Banana Brian is second. From the outside, I'm a Peppa tries to rally. Widest of all, spin the boulevard. They're in the drive. It's Ozone and a threat to make all. He leads by three. I'm a Peppa trying to track down Sir Banana Brian for second. Moving out the rail, Hercules in love. They come to the wire. It's Ozone all by himself. Ozone to win it and win it by four in the end. Sir Banana Brian was second. I'm a Peppa ran third. Hercules' love is fourth. And then spin the boulevard. 56 and four. And they're off. Clean beginning. From the center, Pehadu gets the first call and goes looking for the lead from Iraq, who comes away guarding that rail spot in second. Mr. Moore's on the far outside. Pluma Rojas not far away. Manic settles in behind the early skirmish here from Eyes of Champion toward the outside. Saving ground is Glorious Tribute, the early trailer now. That trailer is Euphoria Star. And they run around the first turn. It's Pehadu clear by a length and a half. Mr. Moore is second. Pluma Roja third. Mannix angles to the outside fourth with a rack of shuffled fifth. Outside sixth is Eyes of Champion. Euphoria Star now seventh. Eighth and last is Glorious Tribute. Down the back stretch they go. Jockey Paca Lopez trying to harness the speed of Pehadu, who's keen on the top end. Three lengths to the good after a 23 and 2 opening quarter. Mr. Moore is second to the outside of him. It's Maddox. Then Pluma Roja. Rack got shuffled back, but he starts to improve with an inside lane. Then Eyes of Champion ahead of a Euphoria Star. And Glorious Tribute is last. They went 47 seconds for the opening half mile. Pehadu has the lead. The three favorites are close in tow. Mr. Moore the first to attack. Three wide is Maddox. At the rail, it's a rack. Pluma Roja with an upset threat between horses. Trying to run home from the back is Euphoria Star. Then Eyes of Champion as they run to the top of the stretch. Three quarters, 111 and one. They turn in. Five horses within two lengths of each other. Pehadu is under siege. From the outside, Maddox. From between horses, Mr. Moore. At the rail, a rack. Then Pluma Roja. Pehadu still has the lead and tries to kick again. Well rationed by Paco. Pehadu now two on top. Iraq is second, but he's running out of time. Pehadu responding to all challenges. On the board, it's 7-1. to one. It's Pehadu in front. Down the road winner. Second was Iraq. Close for third. Either Euphoria Star or Mr. Moore in 1-42. Flat. And they're off. From between horses, Homer Jones gets the first call and goes to looking for the advantage in the middle. Here's Amazing Jet on to challenge. Two long shots away, one, two. Marceau comes away third and angles down toward the fence ahead of Halan. Then back to Never Say Never. No Plibian is between horses. Toward the city is three wide. Third last, Green Arting. Second last, Darth. The early trailer is Admiral Nimitz. 
In the run to the first turn, Jorge Ruiz and Homer Jones clear a length and a quarter. Amazing Jet is second. Marceau gets a box seat racing in third at the inside. Halan is a bit keen while racing into fourth and three wide, ahead of Never Say Never and No Plebeian. Then comes Tour the City, who's three wide, ahead of Darth and Street Earnings. Out the back is Admiral Nimitz. The quarter time was 24-3. and three. They're less than six furlongs from home. The leader is Homer Jones by a neck. Amazing Jet on the outside, second. Tugging while three wide is Halan into third. Locked in and patient is Marceau in fourth. The favorite's only two lengths off the speed. No Plebeian is next. Outside, that's Tur the City. Inside, never say never. Darth is on a hold while trying to find a way through. Then Street Earnings. The trailer is Admiral Nimitz. They went 50-2 and two for the opening half mile. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. With the rail advantage, Homer Jones, three wide as Halon, two-path Amazing Jet. Marceau needs a way out. Getting started is toward the city. Then back to the rail. That's Never Say Never together with no plebeian. Nothing yet from Admiral Nimitz as they run to the top of the stretch. The pace picks up as they straighten in. On the inside, Homer Jones. The rail opens for Marceau, and Paco sends him through there with a kick. Eighth of a mile to go. Marceau at the rail. Down the center, Halon alongside toward the city. Toward the city, Marceau. Toward the city on the outside, Marceau. Toward the rail, Halon between. Here's the wire. Photo finish. I think it's Marceau. I'm not sure about second, but Marceau appeared to hold sway in 144 and 1. Outside, Masvino ridden for the early advantage, but Vinci Girl has something to say about that, and these two get acquainted and work two and a half lengths better than Flower Mound. From between horses, Luna Love is now racing in fourth in the blue blinkers. Outside fifth is Paradise Lane. At the Rail Classic Ballad, the trailer is Charm of the Song. They run to the half mile point. The leader is Masvino at a big number, on top here by almost a length. Vinci Girl is there second. From between horses, Flower Mound is now a three-wide third. Luna Love is kept close to the action while racing in fourth. Followed fifth by Paradise Lane, then back to Classic Ballad. The trailer is Charm of the Song. Around the far turn at the three furlong point. The leader now is Vinci Girl. She's had enough of Mas Vino. Flower Mound tries to go after her second. A gap of two and a half to Paradise Lane. Underway with a four wide sweep is Charm of the Song. At the rail, it's Classic Ballad. Dropping to last is Luna Love. She just checked as they run to the top of the stretch. They went 46 seconds for the opening half mile. Good progress from the back here for Classic Ballad. White blinkers off the hip of the leader as they straighten for home. Classic Ballad's going to wheel to the clear as Flower Mound just took the lead. Back to second is Vincey Girl down the center in Classic Ballad. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Flower Mound with one to fight off. It's a sustained run from Classic Ballad, who's charging hard. Classic Ballad tries to reach Flower Mound. Classic Ballad to the top. Classic Ballad wins. Second, Flower Mound. Third was Charm of the Song. Then Vincey Girl in a fourth place photo with Paradise Lane. 125 flat. And they're off in the Key West Overnight Handicap. 
The favorite Sand and Sea begins very well from her inside draw, and she'll look to establish what appears to be a reasonable early pace from the long shot Implosion, who's away in second. The great Jans girl is tugging pretty hard while racing in third. Lady Arsenault is fourth. Fifth at the inside is In a Spin, and that early trailer is Maria's Revenge. In the run around the first turn, Paca Lopez doling out the speed of Sand and Sea. She's a length and a half in front. Implosion is second from Jans girl in third. Lady Arsenault remains in fourth. In a spin is at the rail second last, and Maria's Revenge is last. A lot of respect to the leader, Sand and Sea. She won an opening quarter in just 25 flat, and nobody wants to take her on. Implosion is second, Jan's Girl is third, Lady Arsenault fourth. In a spin at the rail fifth, still out the back is Maria's Revenge. Past the 5 eights, everything going the way of Sand and Sea. She's getting a nice time of it on the top end through a 49 and 2 half mile. Implosion is second, the gray Jan's Girl is third. Lady Arsenault is racing up on the outside in fourth from Innispin, who's asked to quicken a touch by Ruiz, moving through at the inside, and the trailer is Maria's Revenge. They swing now to the far turn, three furlongs yet to go. Sand and sea, unopposed and still clear. Implosion is second, Jan's girl is third, Lady Arsenault fourth. Maria's Revenge, white blinkers launched to the far outside. Innispin's going to try to get lucky toward the rail, as now the pace quickens. To the top of the stretch, it's a fresh leader, Sand and Sea, through three quarters and 13 and one. She has a wall of pursuers, but she's a length on top. Jan's girl, Lady Arsenault and Implosion are next. Now there's an eighth of a mile to go. Paca Lopez tells Sand and Sea it's time to go to work. She kicks and has a two-length lead. Jan's girl has tried hard, but she's only second best. All aboard, two to five, Sand and Sea. Gate to wire in the Key West. Jan's girl was second. Third was Lady Arsenault. Implosion is fourth in 148 and two. They're racing in the Abu Dancha. Twilight Gleaming gets a good start from her outside gate. Looking for pursuers, Lady Milagro has speed. Glitter ups on the far outside as this favorite's taken in hand. Twilight Gleaming out the back early as Choose Joy in the run to the half mile point. Lady Milagro down inside, glitter up on the outside, their heads apart. Twilight Gleaming elects to sit third behind the in-battle duo. Stone Silent is on her outside, she'll be four wide to the turn. Saving ground is La Treviesa, then comes Talkin' Tipsy, and Choose Joy is last. 21 and 2 for the opening quarter as they round the far turn. Three wide, Stone Silent getting a good run of it for Junior Alvarado. Up to challenge Glitter up for the lead. Lady Milagro is all in. Twilight Gleaming needs a way out. Talking tipsy and Choose Joy getting her way from the back. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Now there's an eighth of a mile to go. The leader is Glitter up. Taking aim is Stone Silent. Choose Joy is next. Twilight Gleaming is back to fourth. Stone Silent driven out. Stone Silent and Junior Alvarado to win it 9 to 2. Good that battle for second, close for second. Choose Joy, pictures with Twilight Gleaming, and Glitter Up, 55 and 1. And they're off. Toward the inside, Hades, one of the first to break the line. In the center, Big Effect has speed. Here's Lace Up moving on to take over. Lace Up to the top. 
Big effect alongside. Hades is much closer today, racing toward the leader at the rail. Out in the center, it's Holiday Pay, then North Shore Drive. Second last is Pure Class, and Lasso held up between the entire field, separated by two and a half in the run to the opening quarter. Hades down inside, lace up in the middle, out three wide goes Big Effect. Far outside, it's Holiday Pay. Then back to North Shore Drive. Pure Class runs in between horses, and Lasso is last. 23 seconds for the opening quarter. Around the far turn they go. Three wide. Big effect for a neck advantage. Hades and Lace up second and third. Holiday pay fourth and gaining. Inside fifth. North Shore drive back to sixth. Goes pure class. And Lasso is last. They pass the 5 sixteenths, nursing a neck lead. Jaramillo on big effect. Hades back for a little bit more inside. Up on the outside, it's Holiday Pay. He's now third. Two back to the rail in North Shore Drive. Then comes Pure Class with a quarter of a mile left to go. They went to half and 46 seconds flat. They're at the top of the stretch. Hades coming back on big effect. At the rail, North Shore Drive over the top. Holiday Pay, eighth of a mile out. Hades has got a kick. Hades has put him away. Hades and Jockey Paca Lopez kicking clear with authority. It's Hades to go two for two in his young career and win by five and a half. North Shore drives second, Holiday Pay third. Big effect, faded badly to be fourth in 123 and one. Away in the Jenna Stakes. From the fence, Extendo comes out firing. Yes, I am free with speed. Panther Island moving out in between horses. It's Coppola on the top flight. Moving out the rail, that's Biz Biz Buzz. Cloudy gets shuffled toward the back of the field with Heyman as they head to the half mile point. Almost three in line with rail position extendo. Three wide, yes, I am free. Two path, Coppola. Two and a half to Panther Island together with Bad Beat Brian. Then Biz Biz Buzz racing ahead of Eamon. And the trailer is cloudy. They round the far turn at the 5 16th from between horses, Coppola. At the rail extendo, three wide. Yes, I am free. Paco, he's got Eamon rolling from the back and they're at the top of the stretch. With the advantage, it's his extendo. An eighth of a mile out. He leads by a length and a half. Panther Island trying to split horses and move forward outside. And Coppola, 16th to go. Panther Island erupts between horses. He's getting up. Panther Island is the winner of the Janus by almost a length. Second is Extendo. I think Eamon is third in 54 and three. That wraps up Sunday racing action here at Gulfstream Park on this New Year's Eve. We'll be back with you tomorrow with a special day of New Year's Day racing to ring in 2024.